Now, all new at 6, a new survey conducted by a major health insurance provider does not paint a pretty picture of South Florida when it comes to insurance fraud. As CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, the Magic City leads the nation when it comes to insurance fraud, felony drug crimes, and patient abuse. Medical fraud's an old story in Miami. The feds announcing arrests not uncommon, despite a nationwide reduction in cases since 2016. In Miami, according to a new national survey, yeah, obviously Miami really jumped off the page. It was the number one city in the United States for health care exclusions. Exclusions mean being barred from federal health programs, usually in South Florida's case, fraud, felony drug crimes, patient abuse. Between 2010 and through most of this year, Miami has seen 818 health care fraud penalties that included jail time. Los Angeles, a distant second, and Chicago third with 181. Doctors that are, you know, uh, getting caught up in, you know, uh, prescription drugs and, 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 you know, trafficking drugs out of their uh, pill mill doctors, if, if you may, um, uh, Medicare fraud, stuff like that. Yeah, doctors all over the country really are, are going to prison for these crimes. So nationally, how does Florida stack up when it comes to penalties, including prison in the last decade? California leads the pack over 3,800. Florida, not far behind it, 3,500. Texas, 2,300. So why Florida? Why Miami? Miami has a, a larger population of elderly people, um, people for, you know, who, who uh, English is not a first language. And both of those are, both of those demographics are popular targets for people uh, looking to commit some sort of insurance fraud. Add to the brew Miami's high rate of white collar crime and where fraud can become institutionalized. A healthcare clinic where, uh, you know, malicious billing and coding um, against insurance and Medicare is just become common practice and, and there's often more than one individual is in on it. Bottom line, major fraud drives up health insurance premiums. The Fed's constantly on the trail of the crooks. I think if there's a silver lining in the data, you see that the number of exclusions are high. That obviously means that they're, they're on top of it and they're cracking down on it pretty hard. We reached out to federal law enforcement about the survey. They've not gotten back to us. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.